Hi, Shem here. Now, I've been working on a digital collage. Uh, I've actually tried to record my screen while I was actually making it, but it didn't work out. It didn't come out that way. So uh, what I'll do is I'll recap what I actually did during the video, uh, during the making of the collage, and uh, try and highlight some, some of my thinking to do with it. So I've got uh, my screen open here and I have some images that I was wanted to work with uh, this painting uh, this painting here this blue one kind of lively movement paintings um, and some photos this sawn off tree trunk that I had on a that I took on a, on a walk along with this one this photo of some tree tops against the sky and another one of autumn leaves and another one here what I uh, thought to do was to start with a blank canvas and gradually piece the parts in that I put in place at first so I started with this um, this tree image and put it in at the top there, fitted, fitted it to size and also added the other image um, which you can see there which um, I lowered the opacity on it, of it and turned it upside down so that um, it filled the centre of the image basically and then I went in and put in this image here but I thought well I don't want to just a, a rectangular part of the image so I, I cut it up into a, a couple of um, in more interesting shapes so what I did was I did this one which I thought was much more interesting and also this one which kind of fitted together and I like the way the shapes in the trees followed through with the shapes in the paintings here so there's some follow through of um, lines so it keeps the design more unified and coherent um, now after that I added a circular shape a circular shape this is just a circular image here for using the ellipse tool and placed the other um, other painting this one here inside it and positioning the painting so that it had the most interesting shape within the circle and I nested them together so that they became one um, unified image if you like so um, for example I could move that about there and it all um, moves as one so it's one complete image um, after that I thought well let's um, add uh, something to offset that so I put in this image of the tree trunk and just selected the tree trunk itself a circular shape of it and put that inside there and it kind of creates a bit of uh, push pull with the two circular objects then um, creates a bit of dynamic interest and so then I thought well let's put some make some space in there because it's kind of getting a bit busy now so what I did was I put in this um, blue rectangle which I shaped into a kind of more of a um, parallelogram if you like, a more of a, a different shape as well as this um, yeah, there's nothing there with that one okay um, oh this one here so, um, yeah, that one there. So I created a, 
like a purple bit just outside there too because I thought there was a bit too much blue in there then how, how can I create a thought how can I create more space so I put in um, a, a paler background behind the the blue shape to um, soften it a bit and make it stand out a little bit more so it created more more a slightly flatter area not too much but just a little bit and then um, put another I've lowered the opacity on all of these so the the background just does show through a little bit but it creates a bit more more of a flatness to um, so that these shapes work better against a flatter background rather than the busyness of the trees um, that was my thinking there anyway um, now I also added this piece of orangeness to emphasize the orangeness in the leaves of the autumnal trees there um, and behind this I thought well let's put in this shape here which is kind of a, a bit of my notebook scrapbook which uh, I thought well put in some uh, there's some writing that you can see through here it's not very clear but it's it adds a bit more interest so if you study it more closely you'll be able to see things in there which talk about uh, world and nature and things um, so with this shape here I also included this shape here to um, mirror this line here and it's kind of a complementary colour with that um, but I thought well that's a bit too in your face that purple because it's just a bit too much so I put this white rectangle overlaying it with a bit of opacity so that you can still see this purple shape but it's toned it down quite a lot which I thought looked better then um, I thought I'd mirror that purple shape at the top there where it uh, gives it a purple and it gives it a bit of contrast with this orange here so I was liking that so far um, also I introduced this orange shape here to keep more orange in it to uh, further tone down the blueness um, and I think that works very well I think that works very well it mirrors this shape here this orange and this, it picks up the ochres and oranges in in this part of the um, collage and then I added this blue um, band at the bottom because this blue color in this part wasn't it didn't appear in anywhere else so apart from maybe a very slight hint here I thought I'd introduce a bit of it here and I toned that down with a bit of white behind it so um, I thought well I'm actually liking that I'm actually liking what I've done there so that's all the pieces in place I couldn't see any more improvements that I particularly wanted to make at the time but I thought well the colours kind of a, a bit of unity in the colours might help so I added this overlay of a kind of orange um, here kind of orange colour which I reduced the opacity on to a level which is about there and then to uh, which brought the colours together so that they sat better together and worked worked well um, to finish it off I put in um, I, I grouped all the elements together apart from the orange overlay and then 
added some brightness and contrast to offset the um, the softening of the image when you I put the transparent overlay so it brought the contrast back up to a decent level so it's easily seen so that's what I've been working on today and I think this collage looks really nice to me I think it looks really well so um, I'm pleased with that I think it looks amazing so thanks for watching uh, I'll leave it there for now and next time I'll attempt to make a video where I actually work on it alongside um, showing it on video so uh, that's my next aim I'll get it right next time okay thank you for watching um, subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more areas of art making and uh, other things in my creative world so um, I'll see you again soon bye for now